All right, let's take a look at this generative AI blog. It's written by one of my uh, my friends and coworkers, uh, Jigna. Shout out Jigna. You can find the link to the full blog in the post. This blog is about how you can enrich your prompts referencing some, some database, right? So like we all know about prompt engineering at this point, I hope. But what this blog is focused on is when you're prompting your large language model, actually doing like a data dip or enriching your prompt with customer specific uh, information, right? So let me, let me just break this down. Customer authenticates with your service with some authentication mechanism, let's call it Cognito. Well, now you have data about that customer's identity in session, like maybe a user ID, right? That you can pass into your app. But with that context of the user ID, what we're able to do with prompt engineering is tell our, our module, in this case, it might be something like LangChain, to actually query a database to enrich that user ID with more context about the user what's in their shopping cart, what are some past things that they've booked with us, maybe demographics information, fill in the blank, whatever data you have about your customers, you can now enrich prompts and personalize responses based on that commonly called like a data dip or data enrichment. So this is on GitHub. I was taking a look at the code because I was like, this is cool. I wonder how they're actually doing that that query. And of course it is uh, via a combination of, of Langchain and, and Boto3 AWS is Python SDK. Uh, so effectively, they're creating a Redshift client. They're just querying Redshift and they're taking that data they get from Redshift and then passing it into their prompt template with Langchain. This is a different style of prompt engineering than I see people talk about because this style of prompt engineering is not just like trying to get more out of your LLM by telling it who it is and, and what it should do and how it should think, but this is actually enriching a prompt by querying a database which will be something that a lot of customers will have to do in order to provide personalized experiences based on existing customer data they already have. To show you an example, like to, to make it real with the prompt, right? If you go into this type of an app and you could deploy this with CloudFormation into your own AWS account to experiment with it, but you pass in the user ID and then you say, hey, can you recommend some plans? Well, it's gonna be able to actually look up your user ID and build a prompt like this within LangChain before passing it to your LLM that says, hey, you know, typical prompt engineering, you're a travel itinerary planner, but here's all this information about the customer and what they just asked. They're into scrapbooking. Here's where they live. Here's some prior things they've booked with us, right? So all of these highlighted areas are things that were queried from this database and or in this case, a data warehouse, Redshift, and integrated into that prompt to ensure that the LLM can respond with an answer that's highly contextualized, much more compelling. And a lot of companies already have data like this sitting around. So building a little prompt that enriches uh, uh, some attribute you know about the user and allows you to cater the experience in more personalized ways. And I think more broadly, this has almost changed how I think of prompt engineering. I, I, I'm not thinking of prompt engineering now as simply constructing some clever prompts to get the LLM to do my bidding, but I'm now starting to think about it as like data integrations of like, how do I pull data from existing customer data systems? And how do I pack that in to my prompt to make sure the responses I get back are both efficient, but also highly contextualized. We're just using Python to query the database. So you could really adjust this to any data storage imaginable and, and make this work. But I think Redshift is a, is a great option and a place where customers might already have this sort of customer data stored. So check it out, play with it. Let me know if you have any questions. Peace.